The former head of interim national government, Ernest Shoneko, has been buried, ending the four-day funeral rites that began on Monday. Shoneko was buried at Ebony Vault in Ikoi, Lagos, on Friday after a funeral service held at the Cathedral Church of Christ. Several dignitaries graced the service. They included Vice President Yemio Shibajo, the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, Minister of Information, Lai Mohammed, and former Head of State, Yakubu Gowan. Some others are the Lagos State Governor, Babajide Sonwolu, Ogun State Governor, Dakpa Abiodu, and the Governor of Edo State, Godwin Obaseki. Accomplishments as a businessman, a political figure, and a bridge builder is already the stuff of legend and will be talked about for generations. But perhaps what deserves greater attention is the way he carried himself through life and the high values he exemplified. That genuine respect that he had for all people, of all classes, of all religions, of all tribes and gender. His unflinching belief in the inherent goodness of everyone. His love and generosity, not just to his family, but to all. On behalf of the president, President Muhammad Buhari, the government and people of Nigeria, I extend sincere condolences to his immediate family, Mama, Mrs. Margaret Shoneko, and their children, Adeboye, Korede, Kemi, and Yele. Thank you for giving him room to serve this nation and to serve humanity at large. It was called on at the point where Nigeria had a looming crisis in leadership. And reluctantly, because of his sense of deep patriotism, he accepted that call. In all this, the man remained a firm believer and a servant of the Almighty High. Whilst being a doting husband and a loving father to his children and grandchildren. Well, Chief Enesunoko was a truly, truly distinguished Nigerian, very well celebrated, um, very well accomplished, distinguished themselves in leadership, in economic development. He was one of those who started the Nigerian Economic Summit Group uh, to advise Nigerian government and be there for Nigeria. And of course, in the time of crisis, when Nigeria needed a leader to step in, it was Chief Shoneko that that mantle fell on to be head of the interim national government. So in all fronts, he did exceptionally well. So we're thankful for his life. Papa was a great man, an elder statesman, a great achiever with unbelievable humility. A man who has taught many lives in many positive ways, including mine. When he was met with chairman of Vision 2010, he, he, I was invited to the Vision, and after that, I became the first woman from the group to be a minister. I'm forever grateful to Papa. People should learn. We like people like to say people to say nice things after them. They should learn from his life, and uh, and we'll have a better Nigeria. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.